Sarah and I am coming to you with a Rejuva Minerals makeup review. That is right, I have been so fortunate or blessed I should say to be able to review some of Rejuva Minerals makeup. Now I want to talk to you about this company because I have been looking for a long time for a makeup company that has natural products. Now granted a lot of makeup companies out there right now say pure or natural or organic on the label and you really can't you really can't believe everything that you read. And just to give you an example, this last week I had ordered a, an eyeshadow palette from a company that I thought I could trust. I wasn't looking too detailed at the ingredients. I did look at the back at some of them glossed it over, but it wasn't, I, you know, I guess I didn't look too clearly because when I got the product I was really disappointed. They have talc in this eyeshadow palette. Now talc is very toxic. It's not good for you because it is toxic. So anyway, I want to talk to you about Rejuva Minerals today. The makeup is so wonderful because it is pure. Now, I had talked to a rep before, and I'm going to mention this a little bit later, but they have a very neutral and natural makeup palette in the color range. Um, it's very neutral because they want to keep their products so pure that they're not going to be adding all these crazy pigments in them because they want to keep them pure and natural. Now, today I have on mocha latte on my brows. I have some white diamond on my uh, brow. Uh, you can maybe see here. I have white diamond. I have, uh, the white diamond has a shimmer and it's really nice because most of their makeup that I've tried so far has been on the matte side, but it's no problem at all because you can just get that white diamond and uh, I've just put it all over my face and my um, highlighted on my brow or my bone here, my cheekbone. And I have, uh, I did iris around my eyes for eyeliner and the lipstick is so wonderful. I have the um, champagne on ice, it's super luxurious and I love that it's super hydrating. I live in West Texas and I really need moisturizing on my lips and it's, it totally fits the bill for that. And I also have Mega Lash um, eye mascara on, if you could see that. Um, for years I switched everything to natural but I held on to my commercial brand mascara and that was because it was doing the job and I just couldn't find a natural mascara that was working well enough and anyway this is Mega Lash it's water resistant and oh my goodness I love it I was so excited because I get to throw out the other mascara and use this natural mascara now that I know has, has no junk ingredients in it you could I actually found out about this makeup line um, I think it's called Skin Deep the um, uh, it's a makeup review company that reviews for toxins in products and across the line Rejuva Minerals has such a low um, rating for toxins and in some cases it's negligible most cases it's negligible it's vegan they're uh, no testing on animals so this is really a great product line now we're gonna go ahead and look at the makeup up close I'm gonna let you see how it's playing around with it out of a little picture of an eye for you to check out and you're gonna see how fun this makeup line is So we're going to continue on with our product review here and I'm just excited to show you this is my little setup here we're going we even have a little eyeball here so that we can give you some examples of how to use all this stuff all these tools these wonderful tools so let's see here we have the soft brush uh, this is a blush brush and you would just use that on your um, cheek it's right here and what I like about this brush is it has really super soft bristles and I actually like this brush if I'm going to use um, it as a highlighter as well if I'm going to be doing any kind of highlight over my forehead or on my cheekbones right here I'll use this white diamond and this is um, it kind of has a little bit of a shimmer to it and it's a perfect product to bring shimmer a lot of what they have is matte and if you're like me and you like that dewy look um, just enough to give you a nice shine or a sparkle I would say then or radiance how about that you would use a little bit of this if you want to put a little bit on your forehead maybe a little bit on your chin or wherever you want to add a little bit of radiance you would use the soft blush brush here and then we have the petite face brush and this kind of has a blunted edge and that's so that you can use your foundation and this is in the color glow this is one of their actual foundations and you would just get it on there and um, I always make sure you tap it so that you get that excess off and if you really want it to get even on your brush you can use the back here to if you don't want too much of it in one application you can soften it up a little bit and distribute it through the edge of your brush here and then you apply it by doing circular um, movements around your face and you can just brush it in and 
and get it all in your uh, all around your your face here so a lot of times women will get a shadow right around their nose and that will just take away from a nice finished look and so what I like to do is I actually like to get the foundation and you would just make sure you have a really clean brush this is the um, smudge brush but I would probably use the all over um, let's see here this is the all over lid brush and I just use that and then I would just brush it in the corner of your creases wherever you're going to have any shadow dark shadows you want to go ahead and just put a little bit of extra foundation and a lot of women get red patches or dark patches around your nose so you can use that um, right around the nose and then you have the crease brush and the crease brush is you can see that there is a crease in here and you're just going to use your shadow and this is iris this is a really nice deep color iris would be nice to do on the crease line right here and um, you would go right above the eyeball here and you can shadow in a little bit and make a, a little bit of a triangle area here making it a little bit darker you can get your your lighter shadows to come all in here and then just follow your crease line with your crease brush with your eye iris or your deeper color um, a lot of times I will have a darker liner right here on right on the lash line and then I'd come around with the this brush right here or even with the let's see if I have another one here I think I just use this brush and I would just use the crease brush come with the iris after I've already done a dark line here and then just go ahead and put some more um, color on the bottom here and that would give a, a two-dimensional color so we have that and that is the crease brush once again and then we have the smudge brush and the smudge brush is a great tool to blend with and so say you've come in now you've used your crease brush you've used your dark eyeliner here and then you've come around with the, a second color for dimension and everything is looking nice but it's just looking kind of harsh lines you would go ahead and use your smudge brush to just kind of smudge in everything and get a nice blend going on so that's what you'd use your smudge brush for and then we have the angle liner and the angle liner is so great for getting into those tight spaces so this is the, the brush you would use to get really nice and a nice tight line in on the top in the bottom of your lid or wherever you want that tight line um, I'm going to show you right here this is the moonless night and the moonless night is a great liner color now I'm going to show you what this color looks like with saline um, and I'm going to just show you here you dip your brush in the saline and then you blot it out so it's not too wet and then you just come and get pick up your color you load your brush and then just to make sure there's not too much, I like to just tap a little bit out. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like here. You can see you get a nice color. If you want a deeper color, go ahead and forget the tapping. And then you can actually just apply it straight on. And you're going to see that it has a nice deep color. And that's where you kind of get that liquid eyeliner look. Okay, and I'm going to show you the difference if I were to use it but I'm gonna do this without doing any liquid on it or any saline and you're gonna see that it's you know a whole different animal here so you're gonna go for one that's nice and tight and has a, a nice line you're, you're having a nice brighter amount of pigment and then this one's going to be more uh, softer so you're gonna have a day liner and you can have a night liner you could use both but you're gonna get two different looks but I wanted to also show you, this is Iris, and I really love this color. This color has a little bit of an aubergine color to it. It's a little bit of um, eggplant, if you will. And it has a, just a really nice, luxurious feel to it. The color is a little bit, like I said, towards that aubergine color. So Rejuva's colors are very natural and neutral. And out of all the color line, I think this is my favorite because it just adds a little bit more color pop and dimension. It's a little, has a little bit of fun. How about that? It just adds some fun to your makeup. And I'm going to show you what it looks like um, having some hydration and without hydration. So we're going to do the same little test here. So I'm going to show you what this looks like dry. We're going to do the dry and I'm going to do it right below where we have already done the the moonless night so we've already done moonless night that's this one on the bottom dry and then the top it's wet so this is going to be applied here and this is I'm gonna kind of turn it so you can see a little bit the dimension of color here uh, the, the lighting's not great right now so this is what it looks like if I was just gonna put it on my eye um, on my eye here just above my eye and so there's the color right there this color is a great crease um, a very great crease color so I'd put it in my crease and then I would do 
a little bit here in this triangle portion. So I'm in the uh, saline again in a clean spot where it doesn't have any black so it doesn't mix with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and load my brush again and now it actually has some of that saline on it. And the saline actually picks up the pigment better than if you were just going to wet these in water. And so I'm going to tap it out and I'm going to show you the difference here. This is going to be above the black line above. So if you're going to use this for a, um, for your crease color and you really wanted to have a really deep color on top and you wanted to go from, from a day to an evening color, this easily does the job. And I love that it actually brings out the pigment in a more sparkly kind of way. This is very matte, but once you start wetting it, the more you kind of drive it into your, your eye lid up there, it's actually going to pick up more dimension. You're going to get more sparkle. And so you can see, hopefully, how much deeper that color is on top than it is on bottom. So with the saline, without the saline. So there are those two right there. Rajiva is known for its natural makeup line and they stay really true to that in their color palette. And when I talked to one of the reps over there, she mentioned that they don't have a lot of color pigments because they really want to keep the product pure. And the more you start getting into blues and funky colors, then the more you're going to have to adulterate your line. And so they're really committed to having pure makeup with pure ingredients and so they're keeping it um, in a natural color scheme for the pure purpose of keeping the makeup pure and so um, I really respect that. I wanted to show you some colors that they have here really quick so that you can see what they look like. This one is the mocha latte. The mocha latte is a great medium color. The Brazilian brown is a great complementary color when you're thinking of um, colors on your face think of things that are going to be anchors and so you have the the moonless night I think it was called over here the black one yes the moonless night are going to be your anchor colors and the Brazilian brown so when you're ordering your makeup just remember that you always need anchor colors to pull your face together um, you need a highlighter you need an anchor and so the Brazilian brown the moonless night are very much going to be those anchor colors and the foundational colors so I like to use a Brazilian brown here use that with your angle liner and get here and, and do a liner with it. You can um, wet it and do a top wet line on the top with that. This is um, the mocha latte. Before you do anything on your lid, choose a base color and you can do the all over lid brush. And this is a very neutral color and this is called beach bum. And beach bum is just a really wonderful neutral color and it's What's interesting is if you put this beach bum all over your lid and then you put the white diamond right above it, you're actually going to get a really nice natural, um, just it's a, it's a nice natural color but next to the diamond white on top and then the um, beach bum below, it gives you just a, an extra freshness about you. So it's not so neutral that you're not getting any color but it's just neutral enough to be natural. Okay, and what I wanted to tell you was this is the acai berry. The acai berry is a little bit of a cooler pink I would call it. And I like the acai berry to just add a little bit of color. It has a little bit of, if you're looking at on the color scheme here, there's maybe just a little bit of lavenderish kind of in it, just a little bit. Um, that color, I actually have used it on my lips here. We, we don't have any lips here, but since we're talking about this, I will pull out the lipstick in just one minute. But you can actually apply your lipstick on and then if you want to get a little bit more of any of these colors all you need to do is get your lip brush and you can actually add some of any one of these colors if you want a little bit of the purpley pink or the lavender pink you can add this one this one is a little bit more um, papaya has a little bit more of a, a, a slightly a little bit of an orange to it I would say it's um, a warmer golder fill you can add that to your lipstick as well and so these are all really fun colors um, for spring that's going to be coming up soon or just add a little bit of color to your life. This one is the Tropical Sunset and that one is the Pink Parfait and I cut a nail mark in there. If there's anything I could say, everything's been really positive with my reviews but I really have a hard time opening up the, the compacts and I don't like to stick my nail in there and I kind of got my nail mark in there. So anyway, that is the Pink Parfait. And I already mentioned that's the papaya. The papaya, now these can be used for eyeshadows and they can use, be used very easily for blushes. And this is a really nice blush color because it already has that warmth in it. It has a little bit of that gold in it. And like I said, the beach bum is the perfect all over lid color. Okay, so let's talk lipstick. 
So we are going to look at the Berry Bliss. The Berry Bliss is, you can see it's a very complimentary color to all the other eyeshadows here. And I'm gonna do it side by side so you can see here, but this one's Champagne on Ice. Sometimes it's easier to, to see colors if you put them side by side here. Want to find out any more information about me, then just go to facebook.com backslash compelled health. And I'm Emma Sarah, and I've had so much fun bringing this review to you and Rejuva Minerals. I want to say thank you for letting me be a reviewer of this wonderful cosmetic line.